guide Ryan Biddle for blogging from paradise make sure you stop by bloggingfromparadise.com buy some courses ebooks and audiobooks they've got some paperbacks there too so go wild there's also advertising options available email me all right guys so here's a good way to see where you're at with money <clears throat> I've been using my Yahoo email for the first time in probably four to five years I think I had like six thousand or ten thousand I don't know how many emails I had I just haven't used it in like routinely in a good four to five years so I just started using it I don't know why not as the prime means don't contact me through there connect with me through there but just as like a little not even backup but maybe like little things in and out where I'm popping it out every day gmail I still only check once a day and it's my prime email but it was interesting because I never unsubscribe from anything so it's mostly spam and then stuff that I signed up for like 10 years ago when I started online and one of the things I did was paid surveys so I'm seeing these surveys and I was actually kind of surprised the one the other day was like 250 bucks I'm like yeah cool but then I'm seeing a lot of these one dollar surveys and more than that like five dollar surveys <clears throat> which is like five bucks if I got five bucks for 10 seconds of work 30 seconds I'd probably do it why the hell not a couple uh, bagels right but when I checked for the $5, which you actually have to do, it's a 40 minute survey. So then I thought, would I trade 40 minutes now for five bucks? And of course not. But it's interesting to see where you're at with money. And this is really the indicator. What's the rate of time for money? Or money for time? I guess you're thinking, you know, in terms of time, what type of dollar amount would you trade? Or if you're thinking in terms of, okay, a chance to make 10 bucks. How much time would I trade for that? And that's really interesting because 10 years ago, we had some very dire straits financially and I had a heavy poverty consciousness. When I began blogging, I was trying to take $5 surveys and I would have taken the survey. It would have been like, it's 40 minutes, but it's five bucks. And you see exactly where you're at with money and most bloggers just have a heavy poverty consciousness and they will spend 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour. Well, oh, I need money, they say. And that's the exact energy that has to go. You have to face those fears and release them to have the postures to not trade 40 minutes for five bucks. Big time wake up call. Because the more you do this, you're gonna be like, oh my goodness, my uh, poverty consciousness is pretty strong if you're in that energy, and a lot of bloggers are. But when you have more authority and posture and you're like, you know, screw that, I'm not gonna trade 40 minutes for five bucks if it's, you know, 100 bucks. Yeah, that sounds about right. You know, 200, even 50 bucks. I'm like, okay. And that's for you to explore. But when you're thinking about, oh, I wanna charge these big bucks or make all this big money, if you're trading, if you take a $5 survey because you need the money, desperation, fear, for half hour even or for more than like five minutes, ten, then you're like, okay, I'm coming from a very fear filled, poverty conscious space. So see where we're at right now. That was a good example. What are you trading time for money wise? Face the fears and release them and you'll gradually charge more and more money, make more money. Guys, I'm grateful for every cent I make. This is not about that. This is not about, oh, you know, screw two dollars or 25 cents. I'm grateful for everything that expands, but it's about trading. That's where this video is at. Stop by blogandbrighters.com. Buy some ebooks today.